Okay, last time we replaced a building sign using the steady operation mode of a planar tracker. Today let's do something different. I will remove the sign using planar tracker's corner pin operation instead. First we remove all the nodes added last time except the planar tracker node, we will reuse the tracking data. Instead of painting directly on the source image to erase the sign as shown in another video, this time we will use a time stretcher to create a freeze frame and clean plate, which is usually a more reliable way for this type of task. Click an empty spot inside the node editor, press shift space to open the tool selection window, search for time stretcher, and add it to the editor. Branch out the media in output to the time stretcher node. Press 2 to load the stretcher into the viewer. With the time stretcher node selected, go to the inspector, double click the source time to make sure the keyframe is disabled. Change the source time to frame 80, where we have enough building exterior we can use to cover the sign. From the toolbar, click the paint tool button to add a paint node after the time stretcher. Select the copy polyline mode in the toolbar above the viewer. Draw a shape around the sign and its shadow. Select the paint node and open it in the viewer, so that we can see the result of the paint node. In the inspector panel, adjust the source X and Y to select where you want to copy the image from. Change the softness and polyline shape as needed until you get the best result. Now we have a static frame with the sign erased, and we need to composite the clean area over the original image. Drag a matte control node from the toolbar to the node editor. Connect the paint output to its background input. Load the matte control in the viewer. Click the rectangle mask in the toolbar. It's connected to the matte control's effect mask input by default. Disconnect the rectangle mask node from the matte control. Hold the Alt key and drag the rectangle output to the matte node, choose the garbage matte from the pop-up menu. Make sure we still have the rectangle node selected. Change the rectangle size and location, so that we have a transparent region that covers the original sign. In this case our sign is a regular shape, a simple rectangle mask is good enough. Otherwise a polygon mask can be used instead. Select the matte control node, Go to the inspector, check the invert option of the garbage mat. Now we have this clean building area isolated and ready for use. Drag the mat output to the green foreground input of the planar tracker. Load the media out node into the viewer. Select the planar tracker node, change the operation mode to corner pin. Make sure the current playhead position is at frame 80 which we used as source of the freeze frame to create this clean plate. Drag four corners of the corner pin reference time position to the image corners as close as possible. We can also adjust the rectangle soft edge value for a smoother mix of the clean area and the original image. Play the clip. We now have the sign removed and replaced with a clean building exterior. That's all for this video, thanks for watching, and see you next time.